New brake pads are in, new rotors are in, new everything. You know what I'm saying? New year, new me, new Lou. You feel me? <laughs> Playmakers. Okay. Out of my wrist, kind of the spinning. Man at the coupe, oh, mama okay. no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it the limit. I got some What's up, y'all? Trey B. Diffin in the building. You know what time it is. Hey, first of all, I want to shout out to everybody who became a member over the past uh, two weeks. I am able to see exactly who you guys are, um, which is definitely um, going to be good stuff when I do my first members only giveaway. If you guys aren't aware and you're watching this video, my memberships are live. If you go to my channel homepage, there's a join button. When you hit that join button and you become a family member or AKA the Trey B dipping gang, you know what I'm saying? You can officially become part of the family. Um, anyway, that being said, let's get right into today's video. So as you can see, I got champagne behind me. In the last video, uh, we got the engine dropped in the car. We're waiting on some parts, so we're gonna move um, on to some other things. I got suspension related things to do, um, and I have brake related things to do. So I think I'm gonna attack the brakes first. So I got new pads, new rotors. So if you guys don't know how to change your pads and rotors, or you need a refresh on how to do it, Stay tuned. All right, so you guys just saw me unbox it. Um, drilled and slotted rotors, you know what I'm saying? Yay. Um, front and back. This, I actually bought this as an entire kit. Comes with the heart ceramic brakes, low noise, all new clips, and they even put brake fluid in here. Um, I probably won't be using this. I already got brake fluid. I've never really heard of this brand, synthetic brake fluid. I might, may not use it. I don't know. I'm going to be bleeding it, so I probably need more than that. I got that big bottle, but yeah, um, if you guys are looking for a link to this kit, um, I'll put it in the description below, but yeah. Now that we see the hardware, it's time to swap out the uh, old and dusty and crusty to something that's not musty. <laughs> well, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so first thing you wanna do is, you see this 17 right here? There's a 17 here, and I don't know if I can get my camera to see it, but there's another 17 right here. These two 17s hold the caliper assembly on so first thing i'm gonna do is get those 17s out and get this caliper out the way
Yes, sir. Boy got the Yonaka, see you know what I'm saying? You gotta turn your screen, but it's all good. Yonaka Motorsport, shout out to my man K. He put me on these when they were on sale too. But, who? <clears throat> them Krispies. All right, so I already got the other one out. These are for the, or actually this is a rear one. This one goes to the rear. We're gonna put this one back here. Replace old dusty musty right here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is one of the front ones. So I'm gonna get this one out of the bag. Uh, the fork is right here. I wish I could clean this up. I probably can later on down the road, but it's kind of jacked up. Clean coil over and <laughs> old dusty fork. All right, so I got the Yonaka um, coil over out the bag, and uh, it's pretty clean, man. Only thing is missing, which most coil overs are, is there's no extra bracketry for the uh, brake line. So I'll have to pretty much uh, figure that out. Um, maybe I might have to zip tie part of it, but I'm not too worried about that. That's kind of common for some, most of the coil overs. But yeah, this thing is clean, man. So let's get this installed and uh, move on to the next part. Now, I do have a kit uh, to replace the upper control arm, but for some reason, baffles me. Uh, it didn't come with a ball joint in it, and I don't have one currently. So, I'm gonna put this on later, whenever I get the ball joint for it. But for now, um, I'm gonna just reuse this upper control arm for now. <clears throat> but you can see everything else is new. Coilover is new. Inner outer tie rods are new. Um, I got the knuckle off so that I can actually uh, replace the lower ball joint. And I'm going to be replacing the, um, the bearing for the hub. Because you can see she a little wiggly. So, yep, that's pretty much where I'm at with it. What you got, my boy? Dangerous things, man. Dangerous things. Dangerous things. So basically, uh, we're trying to knock out the um, the, hub. the hub from the knuckle, like this. Got one down. Got the other one to go. This what happens when you wait too late to get a hold of the press. Right. Got to see it through, my boy. Best run. A one. <laughs> <laughs> Two Mississippi. Right. A two. Actually, let's set this up here. This is a little janky. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Combo. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's that's crazy. That is crazy. Well, the bearings actually still have to come out, but these guys, yeah. we probably have to use the press for that. Yeah. So. All right, so now for the back. Real quick, I'm going to throw it on time lapse, but you got the 14 millimeter, I think a 14 or 15 millimeters uh, to take the caliper off. Again, the back don't have the screws, so I don't have to worry about that personally. Um, knock the caliper, uh, I'm sorry, knock the rotor off. Um, once you do that, um, 
to get to the strut, the 17 mil, which you gotta take off there. And you come up top. This side's covered, but I'll show you on this side because we already did that side. But on this side, you got two, I believe, 14 millimeter nuts that you take off there. And then uh, a little bit of elbow grease and you'll be all set. You'll be all set. Went ahead and got the bearings, new bearings put in. Uh, also got the, the new uh, lower ball joints installed. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's my first time doing it, and it was, it was, it was pretty tough, time consuming. But as you can see, no more wobbly wobbly. This one is tight, so it's gonna be safe and good to go, pretty much. So now this gets back installed, and then we can finish up the rest of the uh, the install. All right, so I got the hub in place. Pretty simple. You just line it up, get the axle in there line up the, the lower ball joint and then uh line up the upper ball joint and then last but not least you got the tire outer tire rod um still got to tighten those up but uh yeah now we're ready for the <laughs> yes sir that drilled and slotted goodness <laughs> You feel me? Wow. You know what I'm saying? You know my man Clutch Kato is in the building, helping out as usual. But um, yeah, man. Whew, what a refresh, bro. New upper control arms, coilovers, wheel bearings. <laughs> oh my god, that was a headache. Right. But yeah, pretty much there, man. Um from what you saw me undoing everything, it's pretty much reverse engineering. So I'm just gonna come back when I got everything put back together. But um, literally just undo everything that you did with the new parts and you're set. All right, so we got everything put back together. New brake pads are in, new rotors are in, new everything, you know what I'm saying? New year, new me, new Lou, you feel me? <laughs> All right, so we got the brakes bled they work perfect so you know obviously this is a test of the uh, job I did on the ABS delete um, with the proportion valve nothing's leaking pressure is good all the brakes are strong um, everything works as far as like pedal wise obviously I'll <clears throat> be able to fully test it once the car is running but yeah man we're all set Got the Yonakas. Again, the the, the uh, kit for the upper control arm, inner outer tie rod, ball joint kit will be in the description. Um, I'll put the link to where I got the uh, drill slotted rotors and um, pads. But yeah, man, I'm about to uh, basically wrap it up um, for today and um, get the wheels back on. I already got that wheel back on. Get the wheels back on get the hood back on and i'm just gonna be waiting on some parts to come in um that i need <clears throat> um so it's getting interesting man uh it is now officially rolling with the motor in it um so i, I can't wait i got the starter in that box um i'm waiting on uh i got the dizzy right here i'm gonna clean it up and i'm waiting on the uh distributor jumper harness from Rywire, um, an ECU, uh, what do you call it, jumper harness, and yeah, man, that's pretty much uh, all I need to, to get this thing started, so, yeah. Playmakers. Okay. All the marvelous, kind of the spinning, man at the coupe, mine with no tennis, chop out the top. Hit it in the limit. I got some.